We've been really busy with the start of the school year and um, the holidays and everything else. Yeah, and we haven't really got a lot of time to get together and make videos, but we are going to be making a lot of videos during Thanksgiving and winter break, and we'll upload them at different times throughout the year and we throughout the year, like yeah. throughout the rest of the year. Yeah, and stuff like that. But we'll be trying to get as, together as much as we can. Um, I was, could, we couldn't really do anything on the weekends, like the fans, yeah, and soccer and stuff like that. So we will be making more videos for you guys. But we really want you guys to check out this amazing, amazing Thanksgiving tree. It's so adorable, and we can show you what it looks like. Hold on. They are little turkey, turkey meringues. Um, let, me, let me get a good one. Let me get a good one. Can you move that? This one? No, that one's funny. This one? Yeah, take that one. That one's cute. But they're turkey meringues. They're not turkey flavored. Ooh. They are just normal meringues that we decorated to look like turkeys. Um, He's if you want to learn how to make them, keep watching. They're really, really easy. And you can see they're not really supposed to be Don't eat flat. Don't But luckily... They actually worked out good because because um, they worked out good as flat. They normally wrote right. Yeah, they're just in peaks. They're supposed to be like soft peaks, but that didn't happen, which is weird. But they still worked, and we really love them. They're so good, and our family um, approved of them. If you keep watching till the end of the video, you'll see that and, and probably really like some them. bloopers. And we'll, yeah, and we have like a little set tour that we did, but so. If you want to learn how to make these really yummy turkey meringues, then keep watching. And also, if you want to learn how to say mixer. Yeah, so I had a little trouble with that. Yeah, so go watch, keep watching, and you'll learn how to make these turkey meringues. See ya. Bye. These are the ingredients you'll need to make your basic meringues. So let's get closer, and I'll tell you what each thing is. You need three egg whites, two-thirds cup of sugar, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, peppermint extract, almond extract, or whatever flavor you would like. You could also add coconut shreds to your meringues after they are piped out onto your baking sheets. Those are the main ingredients you will need for your meringue. So let's get into your supply. You will either need a handheld mixer or standing mixer. You need some parchment paper, and either piping bags or a Ziploc bag to pipe your meringues onto your parchment paper. You will also need an oven and a pan to put your meringues on. So now that you know all of the ingredients and supplies, let's get started. You're going to preheat your oven to 275. And you're going to let that preheat until it's ready for you to put your meringues in the oven. We are going to first start out by separating our egg whites and our eggs from each other. So we have our eggs right here. And we are going to put our egg whites in here and our egg yolks in here. So what you're going to do is I'll show you how to, I'll show you how to do this. See, so what you're going to do is you're going to crack your... Um, egg on the side of your bowl or just on your table and you're going to open up your egg and hold it one side and you're going to let as much egg white as you can just droop off like this and you're going to try not to get any egg yolk in it and you're going to pass it from each egg shell to another till you get all of the egg yolk out of your egg egg white out of your <laughs> whatever okay hold on this one doesn't just doesn't want to come apparently okay and now we're going to put our egg yolk now we're going to put our egg yolk into our other bowl and you can definitely save these yolks to make scrambled eggs and things like that. And you're going to put your shells in your trash can or your sink, whichever one you prefer. Now that we have separated our egg yolks from our egg whites, you're going to 
put your egg yolks in either con Tupperware container or cover in plastic wrap so you can keep them for some scrambled eggs or an omelet. Now I'm going to mix my egg whites with my hand mixer, mixer, sorry, or with your standing mixer. I am using a whisk that is put into this, and if um, we change it to this one, that means this one wasn't working, because we're trying it out to see if this works. So let's start beating. Live. Oh, whoops. I'm going to keep mixing it until I see all of these white bubbles and we want it to be nice and frothy or foamy as you could call it. So I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer. Now that our egg whites are nice and foamy or frothy, we're going to add our 1 fourth teaspoon of salt. And you can see the bubbles just like went down and we're going to mix this until it's all bubbly again. Okay, so I'm going to have Karina pour my sugar in while I mix it in. So I'm going to start the whisk before she pours any in. And now add sugar. Okay, now that our sugar is all poured in, I'm going to keep mixing this until it looks like really, really frothy and kind of looks like snow, and then we're going to add our flavoring. But they're not fully um, ready yet, but we're still going to add our flavoring. I'm going to adding a teaspoon of vanilla, but you can either add peppermint, almond, um, what's it called, coconut. And then you could also have coconut shreds um, once we pipe them onto our thing, our baking sheet. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> that sounded funny. Okay, and now I'm going to keep mixing until it has really soft peaks. And it should kind of look like marshmallow sauce, or what's it called? Marshmallow fluff? Yeah, thanks, Karina. <laughs> Okay, it's really close to be ready, but we have to add our coloring. Since we're making turkeys, we're going to make an orange color. So I'm going to take red and yellow, and we're going to mix these two colors together so we can make orange. I mean, what other color would a turkey be? Blue? They could be blue, but they're not. <laughs> Ours are realistic. Yes. You can make them as non-realistic as you want, but ours are going to be realistic for now. So, I might come back and add some more food coloring, but for now, this is what I'm going to be using. So, let's go! Now that our meringues are very flat, um, we are going to make them flat today. But normally you would make them really raised and cool. But for ours, we're making them flat turkeys because we think it would look really cool. 
like that could look cool. So we're gonna put them in our piping piping bag and get them piped onto our sheet. Taking parchment paper. You need to. Okay, so now I have my parchment paper all cut out. We're gonna take some of our batter and put it on here so it sticks. Bags, bags, you have piping bags. No, no. Just like that. Why? So the parchment paper sticks. Oh! When just the new. Like so. That. Perfect. Okay. So now, where's our piping bag? Right there. That's gonna be so funny. I can tell. It's gonna be so hard to do. Because are making them black so we can stack them. Yeah, that's what I told them. Like normally, you would make them peaky, but we're doing this on purpose. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna fold it down so we can easily put our batter in. Just like so. Taking my batter, and remember, it's not as peaky as it should be, so it's just gonna run in. So, yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna add a little bit more because there is a lot. Oops, that is like left. What? Three. Okay, holding it up. This is what your piping bag should look like. And taking scissors. Taking scissors. So I'm taking my scissors and we cut off a little bit at the tip. Okay, and now we're ready to start. We're gonna make big ones and small ones. So, like this. The other two sizes we're gonna be making. So you should have your two different sizes, just like so. This is what we're doing because we're making turkeys. But if you're making normal ones, you would be making. So we finished doing them. We did have some peanut ones or bows, but. We are keep saving some of our batter so we can stick them together once they come out of the oven. So now you can put this in the oven. First I'm going to trim off some of the excess wax paper. This side. And these are great if you're going to like a Thanksgiving party with your family. Or, or for your Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, and you can just put these for dessert. And they're just really cute. And I just messed them up. <laughs> So now we have some great ones. Okay, so now let's go over to the oven. Okay, so we put our meringues in the oven, and obviously they are flat, but it's at 275 in the oven, and we're gonna set two timers just to make sure. But once they are, um, have been in a, in the oven for about an hour, we are going to put them, keep them in the oven, but turn off the oven because we want them to dry out a little bit. So we're going to set this one to a minute and seven seconds because we already had put, kept well, them out for a little bit. In six Sorry, minutes. an hour and six minutes. And then we're setting this one to... Sixty. Sixty minutes. So we're going to set... Uh, around a five minute heads up. Yeah. So we'll see you guys back in um, an hour ish. But before we leave you guys, we are going to show you in the, the ingredients to make our. De or decorate our meringues. These are the ingredients you will need to decorate your meringues to look like turkeys. You will need either these chocolate sprinkles that are kind of. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Shaped like this, that are smaller, or they look like poop pellets. 
okay, or some chocolate chips. You can either, use, these are big, so we might cut them, or you can use the tiny mini ones. You will need some candy corn. We're probably going to be cutting this up. These we're going to be using as the beaks. These are for the eyes, whichever one you would use. And then we're going to be, we kept a little bit of the uh, meringue stuff to use as glue. You're going to need these cupcake liners, and you're going to cut them in shapes like this to make them look like they are the wings to a turkey, or the feathers to a turkey. And you also need a pair of scissors. And now we will wait for an hour, and we'll see you guys later. It's about 60 minutes, but we're going to take them out and just turn to 15, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Oh, goodness. Hot. Hot tamales. They look really funny. Yes, they do. As you can see, there is crumbs left because they broke. So you have to be really gentle with them, but they're really good. So let's go and get started with the decoration. So these are all of the meringues that we made, and they are, are you can't see them as well. They're so light, I, I could like throw it up to space. But, oh look, and see, like this one we cracked, and you see how it's hollow and stuff? Yeah, yeah, let me zoom in more. It looks really cool. You could fill it with something. Yeah, we could put, fill it with stuff, but we're not doing that. We're gonna make our turkeys. We're gonna so melt chocolate and pump it in here. <laughs> let's get started. Okay, so these are, like, before I stick it up, I'm just going to flatten it down with the sugar. And then, I like to lay it out before I do it personally. And right now, we're just going to be doing the body. Okay? So, and then, I'm not going to put it on the bottom because, just because. And so, we're going to grab, we have a little scraper thing. You could either use a knife or a scraper. I'm going to use a knife. Put a little dollop in. It doesn't take much. A little goes a long way. And then you're going to kind of spread it on there. And stick the bigger meringue on. And, like, make sure you place it before you do it. And then I'm going to put spread it on the bottom of this meringue. The smaller meringue. And then you are going to put it on top. And now we're going to show you how to do the faces. Okay. So now that we have our basic body of our turkey, we're going to do the nose. So we cut off, cut off either the tips of our candy corn, either the, some of them are only orange, well this one's a little funky, but some of them have orange chips and some of them have white, so we just cut <coughs> off the tips, or you can just cut off a little piece and they can be just random and they'll work as good as the other ones will, but they're just not going to be as pointy. So we're going to start off by taking a little bit of our cream and putting it on the one side or like the end of our, oops, of our candy corn. And then you're going to stick it on as a little beak. And you will be putting these in the fridge just to harden everything because it'll just work good and so we can go on to the eyes now. Okay, so we decided that we are going to be using the um, chocolate sprinkles that kind of look like pellets of poop, poop, <laughs> according to Sila. So they just are really teeny tiny and we're just going to use them as the eyes. So I'm going to take some of our icing and I'm going to put it just, or not icing, or like glue I guess we could call it, and I'm going to put it on the eyes. And then I'm going to take each of the sprinkles and I'm going to place them on the eyeballs. And it kind of looks a little creepy, but I mean, you can do them this way or you can turn them up and down, which I'm probably going to do, that looks better. Yeah, that, yeah. This, this looks normal. Do it like this. And then you have your turkey. Okay, so we just add, used some red and orange Sharpie and decorated 
the wings. So this is what your turkey will look like after it's done. You're going to want to put it back on your platter once they're all finished and put them in the fridge to harden. So we're going to do the rest and we'll be back with you. So this is the finished product. We have some turkeys and then we still have and then we have like the plain meringues and then we also have little chocolate chips that we scattered on the platter and they're really cute but they're all different so it makes it cool they're like snowflakes as Sila said and they all look really funny but they're cute and they're so good so we all want you to try them and if you do leave us a video response or a picture you can tag us on Instagram you can send it to our email anything like that Please like this video and subscribe and we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please favorite it if you really liked it and tell your friends about our channel because we really want to get some more people um, involved in our channel. So yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye! Yes, we go. Mm. Bring him to our family. You like meringue? You just take one of them. Yeah. I should have made him right before Thanksgiving. Yeah. We're going to. We're going to make. Sorry, I was eating my hair. You're making them again. Yeah. You should take one of the turkeys, Sila. Just take one of the turkeys. I didn't know they were not all turkeys. Mmm. Delicious. That is the best meringue I have ever had. I need a chocolate chip too. Sure. I will it. Well, we were gonna make the we we're making those little turkey rice crispy turkey pop guys. Good job. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, let's money. go. Let's go her dad. Is it so creamy? Have a candy corn? No. <laughs> <laughs> she quite looks good. Wait, stop on it. Take one of the turkeys. Delicious. Yay! We get approval from everyone. Swagger Jagger, Swagger Jagger. Bake them for about an hour and 15 minutes. An hour and 15 minutes? Mom! <laughs> it's a long time. behind the scenes of the Buzzing Cousins meringue video. Okay, so come on. We are in the kitchen and we have this rolling sign because everybody's parents complain when they're in our video and they are just talking and making microwaving. Microwaving is better. Yeah. We also we have, have this slidey door because if we're cooking, the fire alarm will go off if we don't shut this. And so, yes, we just finished filming the cut your open thingies. And we have all of our ingredients and bananas. I was gonna make banana bread, and such, and then we need to do dishes. So, pardon. So, right on the floor, you can see we have cords, cords everywhere. everywhere. And we then have we'll an have, like, extension. Tripod, but the tripod will be right about yeah here, here. Then we have lights, light. We have. We this cannot remember how to say this, and she cannot say this. Mixer for her life. And so. This. So this is from like the door looking this way. Yeah, then we have the fridge, the refrigerator, yada yada, trash can, stuff like that. Room. So, uh oh. Yeah, cords everywhere. Right here. We Mommy have... told me to go inside. No, it's Queena, inside. I'm filming. <sighs> That's fine. What the hell? So right here is like the sink and all the dishes we need to do. And right here is where we are filming everything and yeah, making we things. Have, like, that. Da, 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 da. Everywhere. Everything. Queen, yeah. we're filming right now. So over here we just have all our stuff. We have this board just to like put everything on. Um, that's like our extra that we're using for glue. Then up there, this it's is good to eat. that you can't see in our video. But we had this thing so we could remember like what amount each thing is for. And Whoops. it just fell. Then this Light. is one of our lights. I don't really want to blind you guys. blind you. No. Yes. Okay, so, but this is just like a desk lamp you can get from like Target. 
And we have one of our white lights in it. And then we have like a big tall one, which has three yes, colors on it, but it's like just like yellow light bulbs. Yeah. So there'll be only three of them on. So those these are... two made it look funny, especially because there's no light bulbs in these. So we pointed those on down on our filming. We area. have that light, but it isn't very good. Yeah. And it's it's way over there. It's nighttime. It's not nighttime. It's like five. That was yeah. look. And it then is. we have this built in light that is like underneath, but it also has a white light. These are yellow, but they come out white good color. Yeah. It's 522, but it's dark because it's fall. Yeah. That's one of the bad things about So fall. here is a little overview. Yup, yup, yup. If you are someone who does YouTube and films a lot, we would recommend you making one of these signs right here. I'll come, come I'll show you. Yes, guys. we need it with two pieces of like card stuff and some duct tape. It's just kind of coming off. And wrote it. Filming. And the other side says not filming. Not filming. <laughs> not filming. But still working. And no enter. But we should have wrote no entry. Yeah. With a Y. We can make a Y. But and then it's happen. just on this with the jewelry thing. jewelry thing. But she broke it. Yeah. It can, it, no, I didn't break it. It was already broken. I know, but right here we have like these extracts. Yeah, so it's pretty messy, use. but it doesn't matter. Dishes. We'll clean that. We're supposed to be doing dishes, but if we spotless happen, we'll show you that. We'll show you, yeah. Okay, so we'll see you guys in a little bit longer.